Today, I am going to talk about the breaking news surrounding the 2022 NASCAR Cup Series Silly Season. There's a lot to talk about here, so let's get started. Brian Priest, and you're watching William Blackwell on YouTube. Back in early May, NASCAR journalist Adam Stern put out an interesting tweet on Twitter, and it was regarding the 2022 NASCAR Cup Series Silly Season. And it was about the current driver of the number two car, Brad Keselowski, being offered a part ownership role and a driver role for Roush and Way Racing in the 2022 season and beyond. And at the point of time when this came out, it was just a rumor. And it also made a lot of sense because in years past, Keselowski has made it very clear that he's going to want to become a Cup Series owner one day or in the future. And right now is a chance to achieve that goal, and uh, I think he can do it. But weeks went by, and it was just a rumor, but weeks went by, and in mid-June, Keselowski actually started negotiations with Roger Penske and Team Penske in general. And at first, it sounded like it was going really well, and I thought this whole Fenway deal was shot down and it wasn't going to happen. But until Brad Keselowski asked the man, the captain, Roger Penske, for a stake of ownership and Roger Penske's told him I, just, I really can't offer anything I'm wanting to keep it all to myself which I totally respect because Roger Penske is highly invested in motorsports and he don't need to give up anything and uh, he's earned it and I uh, respect the decision so they eventually decided to uh, mutually part ways and I think it was the best for both parties because Roger Penske can still go after his goal he's wanting to achieve winning a Cup Series championship. Uh, he won over Logano back in 2018, and then Brad Keselowski in 2012. But next year, they will still have Logano on the roster, Ryan Blaney, and Austin Sindrick. They still got three very talented drivers going for the championship. And Keselowski can still go achieve his goal, being a Cup Series owner for Roush and Wade Racing. But we do not know yet how big of a stake he will have. And of him going over to Roush Fenway Racing, it made us fans kind of curious, which driver will he replace for the 2022 season? You look at Chris Buescher. He came over to this team back in 2020 because in years prior, he's raced for JTG Daughtery Racing, racing for Jody and Tab Schechter. And he started off his rookie year with uh, Front Row Motorsports and he won at Pocono. And... He went back and forth and eventually landed back at Roush, which he started with in the Xfinity Series, and God knows how long. Uh, but he finally reunited, and since then, they have been clicking uh, great finishes. And uh, Chris Buescher is going to do very good things in the next gen car. So Chris Buescher is not going anywhere anytime soon. But all the attention turns to the rocket man, Ryan Newman. What will happen to him? Right now, it seems to be like Ryan Newman might be the odd man out as Brad Keselowski comes in. But for Ryan Newman, there are not many options on the table for Newman if he's wanting to race in a competitive car. Because the Wood Brothers is now taken up. Spire Agency or Spire Motorsports, whatever you want to call it. They do got one open ride, uh, but it's, I'm not too sure about that deal. R Ryan Newman might stay away from that. Uh, because he's wanting to race in a competitive car. Spire, not that competitive. You look at front row, I know that's not really competitive, but he does still have a chance to win. Look at Michael McDowell in this year's Daytona 500. And then you also look at JTG Daughtery Racing. Ryan Priest in 2021 did not have all these sponsorship money. So if you don't have that, he can't race for the team. Could that be a possibility for Ryan Newman? I think so. Uh, they do have a tight relationship with RCR, and RCR really liked himself, uh, himself some Ryan Newman. Ryan Newman carried that team to the Final Four back in 2014. Can we see some type of reunitation? Uh, I don't know. Time will tell there. But JTG Daughter Racing, in my opinion, might be Newman's best option of racing in the Cup Series for the 2022 season. Uh, like I said, though, that might be his only option if that doesn't happen. He might retire, and uh, I just don't think that's going to happen. I think he will be offered a ride somewhere else where maybe trucks, Xfinity. I don't know, time will tell, but I highly doubt the Rocket Man retires. But like I said, though, 
Brad Keselowski will be driving the six car for the 2022 season, and his teammate will be Chris Buescher. And then Austin Stendrick will replace Brad Keselowski. Uh, Logano will stay put. Blaney will stay put. Dibendetto in the 21 car will not stay put. Harrison Burton will replace him. And since then, that has happened. Roger Penske has been very vocal about Matt to Dibendetto. He said back in 2020, he told Matt that he will give him one more year to promote his brand or have a good finishing result. And in 2021, it has not gone well. And it makes a lot of sense for him to move on. It's a business and uh, things happen. So the Dibendetto out, left out of rides and uh, Newman's out, left out of ride too. A lot of interesting things going on in NASCAR right now. But everybody, though, remember to please like and subscribe.